Hello chess lovers, Soren here and this is game Yanis Glavins Mikhail Tal. Glavins was a Latvian chess master who won the Latvian chess championship in 1952. And in this game he's going to give the magician from Riga the taste of his own medicine. Glavins opened up with e4 to which Tal answered with c5. Sicilian defense is on the board. And by the way, at the time of this game Glavins was 21 and Tal 18. And one more important thing, Glavins is not to be confused with his compatriot Yanis Glovans. G6, Tal goes for dragon variation and as you know this is a rare scene where uh, the 8th world chess champion is playing this variation. F4, against dragon we have Levenfish variation. Knight C6, an exchange of knights on C6 followed after which the e pawn stepped forward, attacking black knight. Knight d7, e takes d6, e takes d6, bishop e3, queen e7. A dubious move. Theory recommends bishop e7. And then castling kingside. But in our game we have queen e7. So black is attacking this bishop on e3 and queen d2. An alternative is queen d4. Now in the game we have queen d2 and knight f6 this is already too much you know another uh, dubious move this is uh, even bad better is playing bishop g7 and going for castling uh, but instead we have knight f6 and clavis castled queenside bishop g7 i guess tal thought that the pawn on d6 is untouchable because he can uh, win this bishop with a check but Turns out that queen takes d6 is pretty much playable and we have it. Uh, by the way, at this point let me tell you that, for example, you can't neutralize white's aggression with a move like d5 because white has a very strong move to destroy this pawn structure. And that move is bishop b5. If you accept the p sacrifice then bishop d4 and yeah if here the knight takes d5 and then bishop takes g7 uh, black is in trouble in our game after castling queenside we have bishop g7 and clavins won the pawn in return tal is winning white bishop announcing a check king b1 now the pawn on c6 is hanging bishop d7 and a heavy blow by clavins like in the sideline showed above, we have bishop b5. Not only coming after this pawn, but also threatening rook e1. Queen goes back on b6, rook e1 check, king d8, bishop takes c6. This is a total destruction, guys, and there is no way out. Tal is creating a mating threat, but with moves like this, you can't escape, you know. Rook takes d7, king c8, well if knight takes d7 then just checkmate right. So we have king c8 by Tal and it's very strange that in here uh, we don't have a crushing knight b5 move which is the shortest winning move. Right now there is a mating threat and you can't win this bishop because of this checkmate. Uh, Clavis made a humble move, bishop b5, neutralizing the mating threat, and right now bishop a6 check is the threat. Uh, Tal played rook b7, but after an exchange on b7, he resigned. If here, then check, and then rook takes f7, yeah. With three extra pawns and a dominating position, this is an easy win for white, that's why Tal resigned. Tal played, of course, very badly. This was a catastrophe and hard to believe that on the black side was 18-year-old Mikhail Tal. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. By the way, there is a forced mate in 5 and just try to visualize it. Just try to see up to the checkmate.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.